Hello and welcome to episode 16 of our East Coast Mainline map. We're currently sat at Peterborough, for a change, <laughs> while we watch the trains go by, hopefully. Well, there's one there, that's for sure. Right, so, today we're going to be building Kettering Station, but had a little bit of a problem. I started recording this yesterday. And first off, let me just say, I live out in the country somewhat, away from the city. And the reason I couldn't continue recording was because of a fox in the yard. That's right. <laughs> fox stopped recording. Uh, we also have a little dog. She, uh, for the most part, is quite quiet. But she's, she's got a bit of a mouth on her at times and when the fox is started look at that freight train again it's always there yeah when the foxes uh, were singing the song of their people outside uh, she she thought she would join in so it was a lovely chorus of barking everywhere anyway not to be deterred we'll try again today hopefully minus the foxes we got about 20 minutes of recording done that was pretty much useless <laughs> uh, country life it's quite busy in Peterborough isn't it I'm happy about that uh, before we start with Kettering I want to show you a little trick uh, that you may have seen I love that whistle in the time lapse for those that watched it for those that didn't we're going to go and have a look at that in a second I'm just going to let this cross-country train go by. Well, that was a quite... entertaining little sit at Peterborough station. A lot of trains going by. A lot of activity. Please with that. Anybody would think I planned it, but I didn't. <laughs> Where are we? I am lost. Corby, here we are. Yeah, so this is... Let me just get the right angle. Yeah, this is Corby. The, the freight hub that we've got going. It's looking a bit... A bit busier now. A lot more organic. Anyway, this. Yeah, I don't know whether you saw this. For some reason, I didn't time-lapse that bit, because reasons that I can't come up with. So anyway, I probably forgot to uh, click record. Yeah, how do you do this? I mean, most of you may know, but for those that don't, I'll quickly show you. It's all about tracks. Now, most of you will know, but... Uh, if you draw alongside a road with a track, it will snap to it. There you go. See, just gently do that. So you get that going. Is it flat? Doesn't matter if it's flat. So we'll do this on this curve here. And if you don't know, you may have guessed already how we do this. So you do that. And then you go to your track assets. And for us, it will be... I don't remember. There it is. Pick the smallest one for curves. And then you... Oh, not that side. Yeah, I mean, you could place that side if you wanted some sort of foliage in between the road. But because it won't snap to the road... See, you can't make it snap there. What you do is you do it on the inside of the track. And you have a little, a little dirt in between or something. There you go, get them lined up, and away you go. You can go the same this way. Well, it doesn't matter if they're not the same height or it's on a slight gradient, because uh, that's how fences do in real life. <laughs> so, more than acceptable. Yeah. So you see we're following the curve of the road there, nice and gently. And once you're all finished, you just get rid of your, rid of your track, and that's how that is done. Hope that was of some use to 
someone out there. There you go. And then it just sits there. Obviously, you can fill in it in between with some bushes or something. It's up to you. Or you can just uh, use some ground textures and put those in between, like some gravel. Yeah. There you go. Now you know. The more you know. Okay. I hope uh, you found that useful. That's how I did all this. Just built a track following this road. And for those, say you don't want to follow the line here where it's all wiggly. You just draw a normal straight track and connect it to the one that is following the road at the same height. Keep it flat. Follow the terrain. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't like this. Let's do something about that. Just quickly while we're here. I want to uh, let's just draw a straight track all the way here. Yeah, I just want that as a solid, a solid section, so we haven't got uh, any barriers in the middle. And that serves zero purpose. Maybe we can make it like it doesn't have much room, but we could have it for a turnaround, perhaps. You could probably get a small engine there. Should we have a look? Quickly. I know I'm I'm distracted. Have a look. Small shunter. What's the smallest we have? That's what it would be. Hmm. That one. Oh look at that. Perfect. It would just get off the switch and then you can reverse back. Up that way, yeah, plenty of room there, and then he can go and park up there. Maybe there we go. Just you can get some shunters out the way or stack them up here for when they're not needed. And you go back that way, and you can mess around everywhere. Superb. Should we have one here as well so they can get back over there? No, we will not. <laughs> well. This is where you need uh, the triple junction or switch right here, where it would go that way as well. Obviously it doesn't work, but that'd be kind of cool. I mean, I, I don't think you can even go over that way. No, you'd have to go there and then there's no chance of turning around. That is the closest I can get it though. So close. I could bring this back a bit, but then... It's all right. We won't. We won't be using it. Right. Shall we get on with this? Let's go over here. Now, as as uh, as you know, the fox ruined my recording. Not that I mind. Uh, so I'd finished all this up to here. We'd gone through here, and we had Karen Station right there. But I noticed something. This actually went down too low, so I removed it all this morning and recreated it. But this time, you'll notice the gradient doesn't go down quite as much. And this is coming in a bit higher. The way I had it, uh, I couldn't get these to go under the track. There just was not enough room. So what we'll have now is uh, them going under instead of over. They're supposed to go under. There's supposed to be two. I don't know whether we're going to fit two in. Possibly. This is all going to have to go. A lot of these are going to have to go, unfortunately. But that's what we've got to do. Now this road layout isn't quite right either. And we could do something better with this too. So let's concentrate on what I want to do today, and that is Kettering Station. So where do we begin? Well, we begin by upsetting a lot of residents. I think that'll be enough. Actually, no, it won't. Let's turn this on. We've got to make sure we don't get rid of absolutely everything. This needs to all go. Sorry, guy in the car or girl. Yep, what are you going to do? <laughs> He's going to vanish. Good choice. All right, so we've obliterated Kettering. Ba 
but it's all in the name of progress. You guys can rebu rebuild, hopefully. As long as you've got at least a residential, commercial and industry building, they'll generally just build up and you need to save one of each. All oh, right, Kettering. Kettering's an interesting one, that's for sure. It curves around through Kettering quite aggressively. We need to get this out here so we know what we're doing. So we're going to swing out and then we're going to swing back in. It doesn't matter if it's uh, slow round here. Fairly short. Most trains stop there. And those that are going through are going to have to slow down regardless. Because of all the junctions. Right. Now this... I'd like to see if we can go under. For starters, we can go straight. And then down. Let's hope we can get under there, right? Would be nice. Without too much of a slope would be even better. Oh yeah, I think we've got enough room there. Surely game. And then let's go... Not straight up, go straight. Can we, can we do this? Oh, that might be too close there. It's unfortunate. It's alright, we'll just go straight over. Come on. Oh, really? I'm a little surprised about that. If we get all this down. High buff, brush strength, please. I don't know why it doesn't remember that all the time either. Anymore. Mu oh, no. Come on. You know you're warning. Surely that's not too high. I mean... Well, the road too high to the track. I don't... Mm. What happens if... We... Upgrade that road... To something huge... And then shrink it back down, something small, makes little to no difference. This should be high enough. I don't get that. It's not though, is it? We're going to have to go a bit lower. Alright. Come down a bit more. Not there. This one will go a bit more aggressive. Continue on. That's a little bit lower. How's that looking? Then we'll have to come up at some weird angle after that. Not that steep. We could go under the uh, under the motorway too. That'd be uh, that'd be kind of cool actually. Get rid of that. Not what it's going to do. I mean, there, this bit won't exist in real life, but if we can make it do that, it'll look kind of cool. Oh, there we go. Even with a downward slope, we want it straight, though. There we go. Happy with that. Let's give that a bit of a... We should start on the inside and make sure... Yes... 80 seems about right. Hang on, where are we aiming for? Actually, it might be 70. There we go. Make sure the inside track's on 70. What bridge do we want? I think it's like a... Like an arch bridge. Not that. Texture's all going wrong. We could fill this in, actually. But let's leave that. As is. Put that in like that. Finish that off. Hopefully 
all the tracks will go across the road. All right. I mean, that seems excessively high. Surely it doesn't need to be that high. Maybe if we then come under a bit higher this time, it will be okay if we, like, thread the needle a bit. And we just go that high. Oh, really? So now you're going under. Yeah, and that's gone up. Look at how much... Wow. It's a little bit finicky. If we go through here then, and we do the same. Oh, what we got? Mercedes-Benz. We're not going to be using that. I do like it though. Big old diesel. Ah, uh, so more killer cans work. We got the 9F, Evening Star and Black Prince. These are going to be our new freight trains uh, to replace the Class 7 that we have. Yes. We'll do that in a second. Looking forward to that. When it rains, it pours. Really? I think not. <laughs> Surely you jest, game. Surely you jest. Let's just do that. Do you like it now? No, you don't. I'll have to put... Why? I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... It doesn't make the greatest amount of sense. So I will make it work. Have faith. Get rid of all this. I know it looks terrible at the moment. But if we can get it working, it'll look nice. There we go. Perfect. I mean, I'd like one there too, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Let's tidy this up, shall we? It's what we can have is a couple of slip roads coming up at the end of this. I don't mind them building houses down here. At all. All right, we try and get a couple of slip roads running off here. And we got that. That's looking good so far. And what about you? Are you going to play nicely too? Well, look at that. We have it. It's all right. That went better than expected. I mean, we had a few, few small problems, but nothing that couldn't be fixed or worked around. And then we're not too high off the ground, you see. And here, I don't want this. So we'll go to, uh, I'm going to quickly save it. And I'll edit that out for you. All right, that's all saved. Now, let's finish this off. Not save it again. That would be silly. We need to go up here somewhere. Is it here, I believe? Yeah, there we go. Not those bits. We need the big uh, straight there. And then we need it in Gothic. B. There we go. Now, if we get these, we don't really need them to come out too far so we could probably make them skinnier for a start if possible 
smaller. There we go. Is that about right? I'd rather them sit inwards than go outwards. How's that looking? Terrible. Let's delete that and have another go. Let's put it a bit higher this time, shall we? How's that? Oh, there we go. Much better. Is that about right? About there. There we go. Bit of patchwork. And do the same on this side. There. Yeah, there we go. Like it's meant to be. I guess you could do the same here. Where did I put that? That. Oh, actually, I meant to do that. <laughs> I didn't, obviously, but uh, we're going to run with it because, as you can see, you can see under the bridge, so we probably will need that sticking out a bit. Is that going to be the right place? Absolutely not. So let's get rid of that. And where's that other bit? I've, has it been eaten? It, it's been eaten. No, nope, got it. All right, let's try that again and take our time. So how have we got this going on here? We're kind of into the arch a bit, which makes sense for what we're doing. Would that be right instead? There we go. Now it's like a solid... Solid bridge. Oh, I'm happy with that. I mean, we could extend these out, but we're not going to. Because we need to get this station built. Right, another quick edit. Okay, saved again, because we're going to... However, uh, however much I love this station, it does make me panic a little bit. We need to recreate Kettering. Now, Kettering, we're going to take a look at uh, the other map. This is Kettering. As you can see, it's uh, kind of on a curve and then it isn't. So we're going to try and do that. We've got two tracks either side, four platforms. Very nice looking building there. Uh, also, Interesting fact about Kettering, uh, apparently Transport Fever AI uh, is allowed to build the roads here. What is that? That's not how you do a roundabout. Surely if you just had a single roundabout, that would serve the same purpose. But anyway, that's what happens when you let Transport Fever's AI loose in real world. You get double roundabouts. For any Americans watching, yeah. This is probably why you don't have many roundabouts in the US. Because you probably look at this picture and go, no, there's no need for that. And you'd be right. <laughs> I'm guessing one of these must be a listed building or something and they had to avoid it. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's only technically four, four roads, right? Oh, anyway, let's not judge their building. I'm sure the planning, planning committee of the Kettering had a perfectly valid reason for doing that. So, should we uh, attempt this? We need the, the entrance right down. I think we can achieve that. So let's have a go at that, shall we? Look at that. Back to the game. I'm getting pretty good at that. I think we're going to need a bit more room down here. There's not much left of Kettering, is there? Oh dear. Let's hope they... Re we will come back and keep an eye on those guys. So. What do we need then? We need kind of a... Not that. Probably this. Where it can curve all over the place. 
let's try. This is what we're starting with. And now we're going to make it look like Kettering Station. It's going to be kind of at an angle. It's going to be high speed, no overhead wires, four tracks. We're good. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Okay, now we've got to get serious. Let's first get rid of all these entrances and exits. We only need one. We're on the right side, and we want it to be, I believe, not that side, position A. It's pretty massive from what we saw. Bigger than that, obviously, but we'll go with that. And then we want to none everything else. All right, so far so good. Brilliant. Uh, right. Now, I don't think we need any of that. What we do need, roof length, roof length was short. Unfortunately, I wish I could, uh, I just pointed at the screen again. Will I ever learn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want it down those uh, those canopies on the platforms. I wish they would come all the way down to this side of the platform. But we'll go with that. Now, what else do we need? I don't think they need to be any thicker than that. The platform widths, the length is quite a long one. We'll go with 200, I think, is a good enough size for passenger. And now we've got to get the radius right. So let's try this, shall we? Look at that. We, has that pretty much got it off the bat? I think it is. Should we do the same with the other side, but going the other way? I think that's it. We've got that kind of curve going on. It's not quite like that, is it? I think that's just neutral. Yeah, it's like that. And then at an angle coming off. And with that reach up there. Because we do need it to curve round. That's just what it's like. Okay, if we go... We go a little bit. We don't want to be too far back, but... Let's see. How much room have we got there? I would like to get another road going underneath right before the station. So if we go there, that will probably give us enough room. It's a little far out, but hopefully they'll build back out this way. So there. Should we try that? There is a junction up here, so we need this straight. I think going slightly out that way will be good enough. Don't, don't connect. We need to be a bit closer so we can get more precision on this. We do need it to aim slightly towards it. There we go. And then we can connect to the road. Perfect. How did you know? That is what I wanted. That would be cool. <laughs> but really not what we want. There we go. And now we have our curvy, curvy line. And this is going to meet up perfectly. Transition from this local line going up to Oakham, which is on this side. The transition is up at this junction there. However, there is another track going back about there. But if we need to get out, well, actually, it doesn't need to be fast. We could probably come a bit further back. Let's put a, a two way signal in so we know how much room we've got to leave for signals. Leave that in. Let's get the game playing again. Oh yeah, let's pick a road. Track, please. Right, and we go over here. 
35. 30, 35, that's, that's perfect. That does leave us some room here to uh, make some cool sort of double bridge thing going on. Yeah. Should we attempt that? I mean, it might be risking it a little bit. Let's try. Which means this road needs to serve both the station and and be a bridge. Go under the tracks. So we need to not go up. We need to come down, believe it or not. Are we going to get down quick enough? That is the question. I think we are. Come on, surely. Oh, you're doing it again. That's more than enough space. I don't know whether that's the new patch doing that. I don't remember it being quite so finicky to do this. To be perfectly honest with you. Well, we know how to do it, don't we? We go further down, dig a bigger trench, and then we bring it back up again. Not really how it should be done, but that's what we would do. Okay, good. It's not on a slope, is it? Look from the other side, because there's a giant cliff that side. See what I mean? There's... Oh, actually, because the bridge I want is that this one. No, we can go. There's plenty of room there. So we'll do that. Let's get all this done and in. Go right down, do that. Ooh. Oh, yep. How's that looking? That is looking amazing. I don't think you need to quite go that deep, bro. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I think the game might be right and I might be wrong. I think we could go up a touch, right? Just a little bit. Too much. Come on. That's not where we want to connect. Is that missing those lampposts or are they buried inside? I think they're buried inside, aren't they? Oh no, it's in between. That is awesome. What about the other one? No, look at that. That is perfect. Sorry, I was leaning right into the mic there. Apologies to anybody wearing headphones. Rightio. Well, that went better than expected. Now we'll come out here with a quadruple roundabout. Because we can do better. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just come out normal. And then we'll go up here. And hopefully they'll build back out this way. I don't know how to do this. It doesn't really matter. Well, it matters a little bit. It, that's just not pretty, is it? Keep that flat. Alright, you join in. And we'll end it there for now. This is not how you're going to be at all. You're probably more going to be a... I'm not sure that was actually... The correct beginning to any sentence. You're probably going to be more like, there we go, a motorway connecting up here. Get rid of that. And we'll probably do something with that junction at a later date when we beautify everything. 
and this probably. I mean, we'll we'll do it a bit nicer eventually, but for now, let's get it all in. Just make sure it's okay. Yeah, we're good with that. So we have this. Is that two way? Yes. And this would be one way. Because unlike the East Coast Main Line, these are usually, this will be different. This is just up, down, up, down. The East Coast Main Line is up slow, up fast, down slow, down fast. And then uh, for the Great West, Great Western Railway, for instance, that would be um, up, down, slow and up, down, fast. It's only the East Coast Main Line that is does the uh, slow and fast on either side. Oh, on each side, I should say. All right. So we got that in. This is by no means finished over here, but it is looking better. Let's do something with this, shall we? Let's just not leave it there. I want them to... Woohoo! I want that to turn immediately into a motorway. No, no I don't. Let's just gently bring this up. And encourage them to build around here. They probably won't. But I like to think we have some sort of influence on the game. <laughs> Not that steep. There we go. Actually, can we like sneak in there? Oh, that, yes. And this is where we're just going to go crazy and artistic license it because we're not one one scale. We're kind of one to four or one in five, something like that. Don't like what you're doing there. It's not how we want that at all. Can we come off a little gen more gentle? If possible. That's worse. That is better. That is much better. Okay, so we're gonna have to just move that a little bit. And then we'll smooth all this. We'll have this as trees over here, I think. Alright. And then this side. We'll prep this. With just some flat track for now. It doesn't look quite as terrible at the end. There we go. Bit of smoothing. Obviously not the most beautiful. But. We're not done yet. There. The main thing we wanted to get is this bit of track in. And we have two roads going under the track. As close as we could get them, it is, and this is, I'm not exactly sure how this goes, but we're going to do it like this because it makes quite a bit of sense. I think, yeah, you can go that way and get over, and this way, get over. Perfect. And we'll leave that like that. Obviously, the local train that goes to Kettering and Corby and just back and forward. Oh, yeah, Corby. We'll come into this platform. And then out again. I'm actually going to try something fantastic with that. Okay, all saved. We've got that. Let's play this. We've got that forever stored. 
We need to finish this off, don't we? That's not how that bridge is going to do. We need JK's lovely bridges, pillars. Now, how are we going to do this? I think we're going to have to build them manually. What have we got? Brick outer, outer left, outer right. Does it matter? I think it doesn't matter. We don't want anything in the middle. Because we're going to do it. I guess it does matter. We're going to do it. Uh, which side do we want this? We kind of want the. I don't want it like that. Which way is it curving? We want this side closer to the path. If we do that, and then the same on this side, excuse me, excuse me, it's curving the other way, like that, and then we'll need these ones, like that. This may or may not go to plan. Need that one there. They look lined up. And then we need to fill these in like that. And are we looking? Like that. There we go. Yeah. Right, need to do the same on this side. Need to kind of see where we're lining up. And that is a miss. <laughs> Try that again, shall we? It's very deceiving. I've just gone and done the same thing again. I will not be defeated. Is it that one then? That looks like it's further back. Okay, that's the one. So is it that one? It is. That's quite deceiving. Alright. Let's tidy this up a little bit down here. Alrighty. Oh, can we see down here? Yes, we can. Bring you up. you up. There we go. Down there. And there. Alright. I don't know why I'm looking under the bridge. <laughs> it's not VR. Oh, I'm silly. What was the point in trying to look under the bridge? Not going to change my perspective at all. Right. We need to do something about that. It's not looking, not looking right. So, what we're going to do is click in every menu but the one we need, and then we're going to find the one we need and finish this off. Like that. There we go. Just tidies that up a little bit. Better. Much better. There, we have that in. Hmm. Not happy about that. But I think once we get some bushes around there, it'll look fine. Let's see, shall we? Hopefully they build houses down here. We'll just see how it looks once we've finished off some bushes.
Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Oh. Where did you come from? What is this? I, I did not do that. Now let's help you out here, actually. It's not a bad idea. The AI almost got it, but it would make a mess of this road if they don't do it right. We need this smaller one. See, I don't mind a little lump in the road, but I'd prefer it if it was a touch better. Can we... If we get it like that... That way? That way a little bit. And then we go up. Gently. And then around. We should get up here about the right height. There we go. Now can we do this without messing everything up? Yes, we can. Not too bad. Don't like that bit though. Smooth that out. Is that a bit smoother? Not really. I don't know what's going on there. Let's bring this out first. Wherever it was. There. Straight. And then we'll start going down. Then we'll connect up. There we go, much smoother. Alright. Let's do some more smoothing. Oh, we got some building action. I told you, look, they will re rebuild. Eventually they're going to come out here too. Right, we need a car park. Or a parking lot. Those over the seas. But are we going to get it in here? That's the question. Because it's huge. Do we have a smaller version of this? Is that one? Will that fit in there anywhere? There? Come on. Really? Are we going to have to go a bit further out? I bet we are. Get rid of this. Nope. Let's go small road. And out further. And straight. Now let's see if we can do something. Aha! How much? Oh, that's ginormous. Oh, okay. We might have. We might have this. Okay, we've got plenty of park in there. We chuck this road out a bit further. Not like that. And gentle. That is gentle. How much we have to go up a little bit, don't we? I want to go out around here and then round there and then this can be sort of the entrance to the uh, to the station, like so. And then this side. I kind of want to do the same thing, like straight. Yes, it's a nightmare. I would hate to drive on this, but we saw Kettering's real life roundabouts in action and uh, that's quite tame. I would love it if we had one-way streets. I'm sure everybody else would too. We could do some proper proper motorway junctions and stuff, but well, let's let them uh, sort out the patch first. Make sure that's all running. We 
can swing in there, I'll be eternally grateful. Thank you. And what we got here, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, they've got some guidelines to follow. So, I know you're going to build a road here, so let's beat them to the punch. Because I want to take this, not like that. I want to take this around the back here. Okay, you can follow the terrain now. But I want you to... There we go. Don't like that. Make you a little smoother. Right, now you can come down gently. That's too much of a turn. I think if we do it from there, it'll be good. There we go. Yeah, that's fairly smooth. Happy to see these building away. Already. Well, we're in 1954 at the moment. We've got those freight trains from Killer Cans to pull in. And since we've got two, should we help them out here before they make a real pig zero of this? There you go, guys. That's where you want to go. All right. What do we think? Should we get... Uh, we could do this bit, right? Alrighty. Because I want to get a, a passenger service running on here. Oh, look at him using my road. Well, I built that, guys. I, I built this. That you're using. Oh, it's terrible. Ignore this bit under the bridge. I didn't build this bit. Are you going up the slip road? <laughs> that is awesome. Aww. I feel all accomplished. It's lovely when you see the AI using your roads. Especially when you're trying to recreate something that's uh, more realistic as opposed to, you know, falling in line with game mechanics and being the most efficient routes for what the game would like you to build. And then you just go ahead and build something fairly close to real life and they still use it. Obviously you're not going to... Probably not going to get any achievements for it, but... Hey. At least they're using it. For now. We'll see what they do later on. There you go. Sound barrier for you. Who just brought that house. I don't know whether they built it there or whether that's just someone who survived my my bulldozing session. There we go. Fields may be taking forever to do, but trees and bushes, look at them. They never change speed. And eventually, nor will my painter mod. Alright. We got that little bit in there. We'll leave that like oh no, come on. Finish that off. Stop being lazy. There we go. We can take a ride on this in a bit. But first, I want to see these. Oh, where are you guys? Let's go and find a freight train. We want this one. Replacements. Vehicles. Let's go and find him first. Oh, he's parked up there. What are you doing? Are you waiting? Alright, let's have this one as the replacements. Uh, 
Let's get rid of you. I know you've only just been brought into service. And should we have this one as the uh, Black Prince? Yeah. Standard Class 9F was the last of the British Rail standardised classes. Designed for fast, heavy freight over long distances. Uh, this one kind of is a long distance. It probably means a lot further than that. It was one of the most powerful steam locomotives ever built in Britain. 251 were built between 1954 to 1960. And look at that, we're in 1954 right now. But with the end of steam already on the horizon, they were short-lived. Some serving for just five years. Five years! The Evening Star was the last steam locomotive built for British Rail and was already earmarked for preservation before it was built and survives today with eight others of the class. Wow. Look at those. Well, you, sir, are back in service. Replace now. Is he straight in? He's straight in. Look at that. Are we liking that, guys? Oh, that is beautiful. You know what? Let's, uh... Get rid of that, and let's do one of these, shall we? I don't have print screen key. Oh, oh, got a better idea. Quick, before I ruin everything, pause it. <laughs> we got a better tool, haven't we? I've shown you this before. We don't need the video. We need the picture. Let's get a nice. Uh, can't do it like that. We need a nice view of this. Right, let's get rid of the, uh, the UI. It's um, right, right, alt, and G, or alt GR, I think that would be called. But let's get that in. Let's go for a 35mm camera. We're really going crazy now. This is going to be the thumbnail. What do you think? Because it looks amazing. Let's get a. It's a shame that the, the sun's on this side, isn't it? Get out of that building. Oh, there we go. Got it. Can we... No. There we go. All that for a thumbnail. But it looks good. There we go. It's saved. Alright. Let's go back to the game. We got that in. Let's, let's play. I doubt he's going to be going anywhere anytime soon. What else do we have? Oh, let's click on everything that we don't need. And it's like this one. Where are you right now? Vehicles. You are waiting. What are you waiting for? Where are you? Where's this? Oh, you're at Huntingdon. Yeah, you wait for passenger trains. Like you should. Replacement. Let's get rid of you. And... You have the evening star now. Alright. So when he gets in, we're going to keep them their traditional colours. Let's follow him, shall we? I think we've done good. We're going to finish with uh, putting the passenger service in. And we'll call that call that an episode. Oh, caching. Bad timing. But do you know what? Let's put the... Uh, let's give us something to do at the beginning of the next episode. We'll, we'll put the passenger service in, since we've got the freight trains going. At... We're going to have to speed this up, aren't we? Oh, no, no, no. We've had one in, we've got the Black Prince in, the Evening Star's just going through Huntington. So here's what we'll do, at the beginning of the next episode, we're going to add a passenger service between Kettering, Corby, Oakham, and then they'll turn around at the portal. And let's, uh, oh no, no, I've ruined the ending. Help. <laughs> 
Oh, I tried to do something fancy and instead broke everything. Yes, we'll we'll put the passenger service in over over there, uh, and we'll find out what he looks like once he gets into the station, and we'll do some more work connecting Wellingborough, I believe. So we'll we'll start laying some track that way, and in the meantime, we'll ride along with his final journey to the next station. Can I spin this around without breaking it this time? There we go. Yes, good episode. Lots done. And until next time, take care. <laughs>